With diverse flora and fauna, magnificent natural landscapes, and an ecological biosphere that supports life, this wondrous planet is our earthly home. From our animal co-inhabitants to the lush rainforests and life-giving soil, we cherish all these as gifts from the Creator. It is a common theme in the world's major faiths that during our temporary stay here, we should be good stewards of Mother Earth. Throughout the years, Supreme Master Ching Hai has shared the message of leading a balanced life while following a spiritual path. Not only must we nourish our spirits, but we share the responsibility to care for nature and our fellow beings. In light of recent scientific evidence stressing the grave state of our planet caused by climate change, Supreme Master Ching Hai affirms the important message she has noted for over the past two decades. We must be vegetarian, meaning an animal-free diet, and practice sustainable living. Today we present to you Supreme Master Ching Hai's discussion on climate change titled Bringing Greater Comfort and Sustainability to Our Planet via video conference with our association members in Hamburg, Germany on July 18, 2008. Hello guys. How are you? <laughs> Welcome, Master. Welcome. Thank you for visiting Hamburg. Vielen Dank. Oh, <laughs> thank you. You can't even imagine how excited we are. We are so excited. This is a launch. This is the first time, and we rely so much on your grace. Oh, I have to do everything? We do everything oh, we can. <laughs> oh, thank you that you've done it, huh? You happy? Yes. Yeah, it's just all the excitement, Master. <laughs> I mean, you are in Hamburg. This is incredible. You are so close to us. And yes. we can directly speak to you. And we are waiting for the right moment to start with the first question. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. Go ahead. In 2004, the Arctic Climate Report informed us about the speed and the extent of global climate change. Modern society had never before experienced such an acceleration in global warming. What else could influence mankind into starting countermeasures and to act? How can it be that the rate of changes occurring in nature are happening unnoticed? What do you think the cause of it? What do you think why the changes are unnoticed? Perhaps they don't want to be noticed because in everyday conversations it never comes up. People don't like the subject. Well, there are several things. Maybe they're too busy to think about it. Too busy, number one. Number two, they don't have enough information from the government or the media or whoever in charge of climate observance also to notify people. That is uh, two of the reasons, but there could be some more reason. Uh, another reason is a karmic hindrance that the king of illusion wanted to destroy the planet without letting people be notified in advance or without let people know about it. He want to destroy the human race or some reason so that uh, he can get hold of them, the soul, to control them continuously. Because if people are awakened fast and know how to react, then uh, maybe they can save the planet and continue their virtuous way of life, which contribute to the preservation of the world. So the Maya has tried all their best to keep people busy. That's another thing. Physically speaking, the world people have never experienced such a upheaval occurrence like this before. Even though they might know somehow, even some people who know about it or are informed about it, 
they are still, uh, you know, confused and uh, perplexed as uh, what to do. You are informed. You are spiritually well equipped. You are intelligent. And I told you many things that many people don't even know. And then you start to do research on internet and uh, access to all kind of information. Then you know more and more every day about it. But even I read in our magazine, you know, the Supreme Master magazine? Yeah, last uh, month, last week, some of our disciples go out and distribute the flyers on the street. And one guy, he stopped his car. And that was in the West even. It's not in a remote area like uh, African jungle or in the lion dens or anything like that. In the middle of the capital city. And the guy just stopped the car and go towards your fellow practitioners who were distributing the flies and say to them, Sir, I know our planet is in danger, but I just don't know what to do. They also don't know what to do because uh, not many are informed. And that's why I keep begging the government and the newspapers, please do something, please help the people because they have the tools, they have the power, they have the equipment in their hands to do this. Yes. There could be uh, tons of reasons, but the main points are like that. Yes. Thank you, Master. Hello, Master. Hello. Yeah, we get son. <laughs> Shanghai. <lacht> ich möchte eine positive Nachricht äh, erzählen. Positive Nachricht möchte ich immer hören. <lacht> Und zwar, die ProNova BKK ist in Deutschland eine Betriebskrankenkasse mit mehr als 30 Standorten und betreut ca. 340.000 Versicherte. In der Sommerausgabe des Infomagazins für diese Versicherte ist ein Artikel äh, jetzt zu lesen mit dem Titel Hilfe, mein Kind ist vegan. Ah, <lacht> hilf! In der Einleitung zu diesem Artikel heißt es Immer mehr Jugendliche ernähren sich strikt vegan. Besorgte Eltern fragen sich, ob eine solch radikale Ernährungsweise ihrem Kind vielleicht schaden könnte. Meisterin, der Artikel bietet darauf sachliche und informative Antworten und endet mit den Worten, lehnen Sie diese neue und ungewohnte Ernährungsform Ihres Kindes nicht ab. Unterstützen Sie Ihr Kind lieber indem sie auf eine möglichst abwechslungsreiche pflanzliche Ernährung achten. Meine Frage, woher kommen plötzlich diese veganen Kinder? <lacht> ja, ist dieser Bericht nur eine Eintagsfliege oder kündigt er sehr viel mehr an? Woher kommen sie halt? <lacht> Nicht von mir. <lacht> Okay, weißt du, ich glaube nicht, dass dieser Bericht irgendwas für die Zukunft erhalten. It happens sometimes that the children become vegan because they are smart. Yeah, okay? It happens. It happens sometimes that the children are born from the higher dimension into a world that is already prepared to receive them. Because even uh, despite all the dangers going on around us, we have somehow prepared the planet for the good people. We have uh, cleaned it with our meditation energy. We have uh, purified it somehow with our uh, virtues and righteous actions. And so uh, many more of the uh, higher level of beings would like to be here with us. Not necessarily with the disaster coming. They don't care that much about disaster, whether they die or not. It's just the, the people who has nowhere to go after dying. They don't know where they're going or that they have no uh, spiritual uh, power to lean on, that they worry about life and death. And for these people, we are trying our best to save the planet for them. Also, so that they can wake up and follow up with us. So now and again, you hear this news about uh, vegan children or even uh, crystal children, indigo children. They have talents in their world, little 
kids even, you know, very young age, like not even Richard the Ten. They already show their talent and remarkable virtues. These are children from different dimensions. And because we have been cleaning up the planet somehow, so the atmosphere is uh, very suitable for them to come down. Well, I do hope that it might mean something for the future. Uh, thanks for the news. <laughs> very positive. I like that. Next one. Thank you, Master. Ah, bitte schön. Thank you, Master. Master, as a result of many subsidizing programs supporting the environment and the ecology, Germany is one of the leading countries using sustainable energy. So in 2007, uh, sustainable energy made up 14.2% of the gross national power consumption. Wonderful. Yes. I just would uh, like to know if this development has something to do with an involved state of uh, consciousness or just a greed of financial gain from these uh, programs. Oh, you are terribly critical. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> They should do it, of course. I mean, even if they're greedy, it's good to have uh, sustainable energy. Goodness, if they don't do it, you will be lamenting that they don't do it and they harm the planet. If they do it, you worry they're greedy. <laughs> no, I think it's, uh, it's good. Very good. Oh, it's good that you ask. It has something to do with evolved consciousness, that people understand the urgency of uh, our planetary problem right now. So people are trying their best to develop, to invent new technology, to bring a greater comfort and sustainability to the planet, which is very good, yeah? Even if it's agreed, only God can judge it, you know, as long as it's good for the planet, bravo them, okay? Don't worry about greed. They must earn some money anyway, and they will earn a lot if they're doing this. <laughs> because right now is it's in. It is a true necessity, and it is a blessing to do such a noble endeavor. So if they earn a lot, uh, I congratulate them, greed or not. If they earn some more money, they will develop more. That's all right. Material gain is not a sin. <laughs> Thank you. Meisterin? Meisterin. We start. <laughs> <laughs> we get Choco. Yeah. Alles bestens, alles bestens. <lacht> Könnte die Abschaffung des Zins es der, es der Wirtschaft erleichtern, den Klimaschutz mehr zu berücksichtigen? Durch das Zinssystem, was wir haben, also dadurch, dass die, die Sparten zwischen Arm und Reich größer werden, ob wenn wir das nicht abschaffen würden, also wenn wir ein anderes Denken hätten im Umgang mit Geld, ob dann nicht der Klimaschutz weltweit mehr berücksichtigt würde? Wie macht man das? Wie, wie funktioniert das? Ja, indem man auch wirtschaftlich andere Vorschläge vielleicht bringt. Also, dass es ähm, in der Politik, dass damit nicht so natürlich umgegangen wird, ähm, dass wir ein ungerechtes System haben auf der Welt, dass man das auch mehr in den Fokus rückt, weil dann die Menschen mehr auf den Klimaschutz achten könnten. Weil dadurch, dass wir diese Sparten haben, ist es ja so, dass sich viele Schwellenländer oder Industrieländer ähm, erstmal darum kümmern wollen, wirtschaftlich aufzurüsten, bevor sie den Klimaschutz in den Fokus ziehen. Dadurch, dass wir diese Sparten zwischen Arm und Reich haben, wo das Zinssystem ja sozusagen der Auslöser dafür ist, dafür, dass die Welt so mit dem Geld umgeht, dass die Reichen immer reicher werden und die Armen immer ärmer, da sage ich, dass die armen Länder oder die Länder, die gerade auf der Schwelle sind, um reicher zu werden, dass die, diese Länder, den Klimaschutz eher berücksichtigen würden, wenn es nicht so wäre, also wenn wir keinen Zins hätten. So seid. Es gibt viele Länder, viele reiche Nationen, die vergeben die Schuld von anderen armen Ländern. Hast ja. du das nicht gesehen im Nachricht? Doch. Ja, das ist gut. <lacht> ja. Das ist zum Beispiel eine sehr gute Sache. Ja, das ist gut. Und im äh, Supreme Master Television haben wir immer so was benachrichtigt. Ja, aber vielleicht meinst du das nicht genug, ne? Ja, ich möchte das einfach nur ins Bewusstsein rufen. 
weil wir oft nicht daran denken auf der Welt, dass das ein großes Problem ist, wie wir zum Thema Umgang mit Geld stehen und den, auch die, den Umgang, den Banken mit Geld pflegen. Natürlich ist es für uns alles ganz normal heutzutage, aber ich möchte einfach sagen, dass es auch mit dem Klimaschutz zu tun haben kann, dass wir daran auch denken. Ja, ja, natürlich. Es wäre schön, wenn die reichen Leute ihren Reichtum verteilen und die Leute Hefe, die wenige Geld verdienen, damit sie auch grüne Projekte leisten können. Dann ist es viel schöner. Dann werden alle Leute grün. Und dann werden die reichen Leute auch äh, verdienen. Sie werden auch günstig Aspekt auch bekommen. Wenn die ganze Planet grün wäre, dann reich oder arme, sie wir alle profitieren. Ne? Es gibt keine Leute, die Pollution äh, einatmen müssen und äh, keine Krankheit von der Pollution etc. etc. Das wäre schön. Aber sag du wem? <lacht> Wo gehen wir, um diese Sachen zu sagen? Ha? Erzählst du die, äh, die Regierung oder die Bank vielleicht? Ja, kannst du versuchen, oder? Ja, ich, ich gehe am besten gleich morgen los. <lacht> Schreibst du mal zu deinem Kanzler? Ja. Yeah. Genau. Ja, Madame Merkel, why, why, warum nicht? Schreib du, vielleicht ist sie okay damit. Die ähm, Mitbürger der Welt müssen, meiner Meinung nach, die äh, Regierung auch mitmachen und mithelfen, weißt du? Weil die Regierung, manchmal, sie sind auch sehr beschäftigt, wegen vielen Dinge, etwas sehr notwendig, sofort gestellt werden muss, etc., etc. Sie sind auch beschäftigt. Und auch die schwere Verantwortung eine Führer. Manchmal äh, mag es schwerer für die äh, Führer der Welt, etwas Neues zu denken. Oder sie haben keine Zeit, irgendeine neue Richtung zu begegnen. Verstehst du? Deshalb, wenn du eine schöne Idee hast, dann bitte schreib die Regierung an oder die Bank oder irgendjemand, die verantwortlich mit dieser Sache. Okay. Ja, man soll etwas danach denken oder ungefähr in diese Richtung, ist auch schön. Ja, man muss verteilen unser Eigentum, ne? Das ist das Beste für die Welt. Master. In one of your lectures, you reminded us of the power of our thoughts and realizing that we should be much more careful of what we might think. Yes. I still had questions about the meaning of it. Then ah. you gave me the book, The Law of Attraction. According to my understanding, it is very important what we think, because sooner or later that will manifest. Is this true, Master? Could you please tell us more about it? Yes, oh, well, it is true. <laughs> it is true, but we have to have enough of this power. For example, if your ship, your boat, is big and strong enough in not very strong sea storm, then your ship can weather the problem and sail to the shore safely. Yes? But if your ship is small and uh, racketed and uh, the storm is very, very strong, even if you are the best seller, the best captain of the sea with many years' experience, still it is uh, very difficult and could be impossible as well. That's why we need a lot of people to help us. That's why... We need more brothers and sisters yeah, who join our family. That's why we need more people to be like-minded. You need people to be compassionate and loving and kind to all uh, their brothers and sisters as well as co-inhabitant animals. Otherwise, I just sit here alone, wave my magic sticks and everything will be done. Need I not to say to anybody else. We have to think positive. But... 
the world has to make it with us. Positive thinking always helps, but how far it helps? It depends on how many people think positive and how many people think with this positive, adding to the positive storehouse. Now, you continue to think positive, okay? <laughs> One more person is always better than less. Yes. And then we spreading all this positive energy and we engage other people to also think positive and do positive with us. Then it will be working. It starts with us. Thank you, Master. Yeah, you're welcome. Con kính chào sư phụ ạ. Sư sư phụ là làm thế nào để giảm khí thải CO2 nhanh chóng? Có thể trực tiếp đến nói chuyện với các nhà phát minh ra những kỹ thuật thân thiện với môi sinh về việc bán bản quyền rẻ hơn cho các ha, các hãng sản xuất được phát triển và sản xuất hàng loạt ạ. Có thể làm như vậy được. Có thể cố gắng làm như vậy. It's good. If they do, it's a good idea. Very good idea like this, we have more and more people joining the green project. If they do that. Con cảm ơn sư phụ ạ. Không có gì. Master, um, John Robbins wrote the book Diet for a New America, 1987. Are the facts still up to date? It's a very good book. And he wrote all about vegetarian diet or vegan diet, and uh, there should be nothing wrong about it. Nothing wrong, never. Never anything wrong about vegetarian or vegan diet. It's timeless. There's no need to ask. Suppose even if his uh, book is outdated, maybe uh, you eat vegetarian, uh, you drink this uh, vegan uh, shake that he recommended, and then you die, then I would recommend you drink it, eat it. Die in honor. Die not killing anybody. Die for good cause. Yeah, Master, um, I would just to say uh, thank you very much for your lovely books about the animal friends. Regarding global warming, I can image that um, the animals can also feel the rapid climate change. I can feel that they also worry about the urgent situation. I'm just wondering if animals are also trying to send us any messages in this regard. They've been sending all these centuries. Nobody listened. Not just now. They don't worry about climate change or they don't worry about their own safety or anything like that. They more worry about how humans degrading themselves and mirror in the climate tragedy and the damage of the environment and maybe the destruction of the whole planet. Together with it, it is the status of human, of their heart. The animal worry about that, the degradation, the destruction of humans' noble quality. They do not worry about life and death. For them, they do not worry so much about life and death the way we do, because most of them, mostly they are in connection with their inner self, with the God self inside. And for them, dying is just like changing room. They try to tell us over centuries that we should live a noble life, the life according to Jesus' teaching and Buddha's doctrine. But very few listen. They still say the same. They say the same stuff. They say what I say, be fast, go green. Save your souls. Thank you, Master. Hello, Master. Hello. Uh, my question is, is global climate change really caused by humanity or is it the result of the natural evolution of the planet? Oh, no, no, no. They already say that this 9 out of 10 disaster are caused by human. And the UN already report confirmed that it's definitely human caused disaster. And there's no more argument about it. Okay. Thank you, Mark. Because... Other planet, they have more evolution than us, or more or less, they don't have this kind of disaster. Not all the planet don't have, it's just that we have it. We are one of those who destroy our own civilization if we continue the destructive way of living, meaning destroying lives, destroying the, the forest, 
destroying the air, destroying the water by doing all the above mentioned actions. Meat eating, locking the forest, fishing, and using too much fossil energy for every little thing that we need or don't need. These are contributing to the trouble that we're facing right now, namely climate change, and nothing else. Okay, thank you, Master. Nothing else is there. Evolution is good, and it is a natural process of human to evolve, supposed to, from lower consciousness to a higher level of spiritual understanding, always. But sometimes human stamping their feet at one place or regrading a little bit, not always climbing up the ladder of evolution, and that's why. That's why if we don't have enough spiritual understanding resulting from deep inner contemplation and connecting with our inner self, meaning God power, the all-wise and all-loving, and instead we are busy pursuing or relying on the outer material help and comfort, and we never have enough of it. Therefore, we grab it more and more each day, and that's how we overspend our merit and over-destroy whatever on this planet that is meant to be good for us and is meant to be good for everyone, supposed to be enough for everyone to use. Okay? Okay, Master. Thank you. You're welcome. Master, why aren't the higher evolved extraterrestrial beings helping to save the planet? That's typical of people. Always doing something, anything, and then when something wrong, they say, oh no, I'm not going to clean it, somebody else, why not? They have more power, more mighty, more money, whatever. No, each one of us is responsible for our actions and the consequences. Thank you, Master. Now that's why I ask everybody to return to vegetarian diet. I don't mean you, you already have, and I thank you for that, and I'm proud of you. My first answer is a question, why do they have to help us? We make a mess, we clean it. No, we are big, no? Absolutely. We are big people, we are adults, we have been on this planet for, I don't know how many millions of years. We should have learned it by now. We are big. So many master teachers come here and teach us the why stuff. We are educated as well. So, we don't sit here and uh, expect uh, anybody to come here and clean the mess after us. No, we're not babies. Huh? When you're babies, your mother clean up after your nappies, right? Now, do you expect your mother come and clean your toilet as well? No. No. It's not logical. Yeah? That's number one. Number two. Answer me. Suppose a UFO come here, right onto the Hamburg Center. <laughs> Maybe all of you already been told by me somehow that, okay, they might be okay. And you greet them with kindness, give them some vegetarian food and some drink, etc. But your neighbor will call the police. And the scientists will come. Some good scientists may be okay, some bad, they will poke their, their skin or operate on them or put the injection to sedate them and then take their blood if they have any and make an experimental object out of them. Or might kill them even with some experiments like they do with animals in the laboratory. Do you guarantee their safety? If you do, then I ask them to come. Do you? Can you guarantee their safety? No. No. You know us very well. You know our planet people very well. And they know it very well. That's why they cannot help us. Oh, my God. Even us, we are scared of ourselves sometimes. <laughs> I'm sometimes scared of humans more than animals because they can do things to harm you. Animals, even if they kill you, if they bite you, you're only physically hurt. But human, they can make you mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually painful. History has proven it. Yes. 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 Thank you. Uh -huh. You're welcome. I wish that they come and help us, but I don't want them to come because they will risk their lives. Mostly they are very peaceful beings. They could destroy us in no time, but they don't want to do that. They have no intention to do that. But if they come here, we might destroy them. That's the thing. 
many masters come to our earth up to date, huh? They speak our own language. They eat our food, they wear like us, they talk like us, they're born like us. And people still think of them like alien, strange phenomena, and they kill them. Many of masters have been killed. So I would never, never want any alien to come here, any of the peaceful citizens of other planet. I don't want them to come here to risk their life and to make the human commit more heinous crime against their benefactor. Yes. Don't sit there and pray for that, because if you keep praying, they might come and they endanger themselves. I don't want you to pray for their help. Okay, Master. Thank you. Put it this way, if the planet people don't help themselves, all let it be. We do our best, that's it. Okay, thanks. We don't want to endanger anyone else who are innocent and who has nothing to do with the mess that we're making, that we have made. Okay. Yes. All right, thank you. Meisterin, was können wir mehr tun, außer Flyer verteilen? Denn es gibt in Deutschland einige Dörfer, die schwer über Flyer zugänglich sind, weil die Menschen dort so in ihrer Lebens- und in ihren Essgewohnheiten so eingefahren sind. You mean in the small village or everywhere? In small villages in particular. Small village, big city is the same. It's just in the small village you notice it more because there are smaller numbers of inhabitants. The population is small and everybody knows everybody. Therefore, you notice that people may not be very receptive to the uh, content of our flyers. But in the big city, it might be just the same. It could be even worse, because people are more used to with the material life, and they indulge in their habit, even though the habits are detrimental, even they know it, like alcohol and cigarette and even meat. Meat, maybe people don't know that much, because of too much propaganda and people get used to it and they think it's a nutrition. A nourishment for them, so they don't know that much. But even cigarette, alcohol, and drug, they know it, they still do it. Yes. Because human uh, will is weak. And the overwhelming negative pressure of this world drive them crazy like that. So they just do what they do, whatever, to have a little comfort, even though temporarily. So that's why we feel sorry for them, for human, and I'm trying my best to awaken them in whatever way I can. All kind of stuff I do. Just because I know that they are just a victims. All the humans are victims of this terrible, magic illusion of the devilish influence in this uh, coarse material planet. They take advantage of the soul's uh, vulnerability and the innocence of the real, true, original soul of human. So they cast upon them all these spells, which is terrible, heavy, dark, condemning, and is suffering for them. So they just think of whatever afford them just a little bit of relief, they think, or seemingly relief, they grab onto it, but they do not know that these temporary relief from drug or alcohol, cigarette, will cause them much more suffering in the long run. But even if they know it, they were so desperate, they still do it, yes, like master. desperate measurement. That's why they're very pitiful, the human race, very pitiful. So in the village, or not the village, you just try to do your best. We informing them only. We cannot expect them to do what we want right away. Yes, Master. Some of the diseases related to meat consumption and or production. Swine flu, Ebola reston virus. Cured meats and fish increase leukemia risk in children. Antibiotic resistant superbug infections from a strain of Staphylococcus aureus. Blue tongue disease, E. coli, salmonella, bird flu, mad cow disease or Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, 90% of the population at risk. Pig's disease, or PMWS, listeriosis, shellfish poisoning, preeclampsia, Campylobacter, Clostridium difficile, diseases hidden in healthy appearing livestock. Some of the costs of meat eating. Infertility, 
Eating just one serving of meat per day increases the risk of women's infertility by 32%, with additional meat consumption increasing the risk. Heart disease. Over 17 million lives lost globally each year. Cost of cardiovascular disease is at least 1 trillion US dollars a year. Cancer, colon rectal cancer, over 1 million new colon cancer patients diagnosed each year. More than 600,000 colon cancer related mortalities annually. In the United States alone, colon cancer treatment costs about 6.5 billion US dollars. Millions of people are newly diagnosed with other meat related cancers every year. Diabetes. 246 million people are affected worldwide. An estimated 174 billion US dollars spent each year on treatment in just the United States. Obesity. Worldwide, 1.6 billion adults are overweight, with 400 million more who are obese. Costs 93 billion US dollars each year for medical expenses in the United States alone. At least 2.6 million people die annually from problems related to being overweight or obese. Environmental. Use up to 70% of clean water. Pollute most of the water bodies. Deforest the lungs of the earth. Uses up to 43% of the world's cereal. Uses up to 85% of the world's soy. Cause world hunger and wars. 80% cause of global warming. Plus more. Some of the costs of milk consumption. Bacterial microbes, pesticides and enzymes found in cheese derived from the inner stomach linings of other animals. Up to 80% of the calories in cheese are from pure fat. Breast, prostate and testicular cancer from hormones present in milk. Hysteria and Crohn's disease. Hormones and saturated fat leads to osteoporosis, obesity, diabetes and heart disease. Linked to higher incidences of multiple sclerosis. Classified as a major allergen, lactose intolerance, plus more. For more urgent information, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash killers. Some of the tragic tolls of alcohol. 2.3 million alcohol-related deaths per year worldwide. Cost of alcohol-related illnesses. 186.4 billion US dollars in the United States. Up to 210 to 665 billion US dollars globally. Disease. Higher amounts of alcohol increase the cancer risk. Even half a glass of wine daily increases the risk of mouth or throat cancer by 168 percent. Cancer of the liver, breast, colon, esophagus, rectum. Liver disease, cardiovascular disease, metal toxicity, brain damage, amnesia and dementia, brain shrinkage. Organ failure, heart, liver, kidneys, stomach, pancreas, eyes. Birth defects, mental retardation, fetal alcohol syndrome, stunted growth, facial deformity, Sudden Infant Death Syndrome, Miscarriage. Alcohol-Related Violence. Child Abuse, 50% of Cases. Violence Toward Loved Ones, 30% of Cases. Violent Acts, 40 to 80% of Cases. Suicides, 20 to 50% of Cases. Plus more. For more urgent information, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash killers. Some of the tragic tolls of addictive drug abuse. Over 200,000 deaths each year. Costs of 181 billion US dollars each year in the United States. 33 billion US dollars in the UK. Lifetime cost of current drug addiction amounts to 575 billion US dollars in the UK. Harmful effects, brain damage, stroke, heart disease, liver disease, tuberculosis, emphysema, cancer, depression, suicide, permanent memory loss, mental illness, higher infant mortality, increased crime and violence, impotence, crime and violence, 
Illegal drugs are a factor in 50% of burglaries in the United Kingdom each year. In the U.S., 60% of people arrested each year have been taking illegal drugs. 650 heroin addicts in the U.S. committed 70,000 crimes in a three-month period. Social costs. U.S. businesses lose 100 billion U.S. dollars per year due to employees' drug and alcohol abuse. Australians pay 53 billion U.S. dollars per year for health care, law enforcement, and lost productivity of drug users. Environmental costs. Every gram of cocaine produced destroys 4.4 square meters of rainforest, with 300,000 hectares of rainforest lost each year to cocaine production. Death. 52 people die each day due to drugs in the U.S. In Canada, substance abuse is attributed to 21% of total deaths and 23% of potential life years lost due to early mortalities. Plus more. For more urgent information, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash killers. Some of the tragic tolls of tobacco. 5.4 million smoking-related deaths per year worldwide. Cost of smoking-related illnesses. 96 billion US dollars in the United States alone. Light and mild cigarettes just as harmful. Causes cancer and diseases in animal companions. Speeds the aging process. Toxic residues of third-hand smoke. Heart disease. Coronary thrombosis, cerebral thrombosis, kidney failure, cancer, lung cancer, esophagus cancer, kidneys cancer, bladder cancer, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, emphysema, bronchitis, stroke, impotence, additional harms for secondhand smoking, childhood arteriosclerosis leading to heart attacks and strokes in adulthood. Sudden Infant Death Syndrome Infertility, Miscarriages and Premature Deliveries Childhood Asthma, Bronchitis, Ear Infection, Cleft Lip or Palate Hyperactivity and Aggression in Asthmatic Boys Circulatory Problems in Women Plus More For more urgent information, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash killers. So we inform the people and let them know the situation, let them know the alternative way of life and the better way of life and let them think about it. Some do it immediately. They think it's logical because they're already smart. They're already on a higher level of consciousness so they can take it right away. Some are not there yet. Some will take longer and some might not. It would be good for our ego if we hand a, a flyer and the person says, Oh, yes, sir, I change to vegetarian diet right now. Oh, that would be nice. I say, Ha, ha, ha. I converted him. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like that. I wish, I wish. Yes, Master. Good talk, Master. Good talk. Anum, Tunen, the mention, Zig Zushwe, then Suzaman Hang, Suvisen, Flash Essen, Un. Why? Because they're not well informed. Yeah? They're not well informed. That's why I say if the government and the media join hands together and informing people day after day, because information are a lot. And people brain takes some time to ingest it. And now that we have not been informed for all this time, only very little channels do it now and again. Only uh, the newspaper printed an article here and there. It's not strong enough. It's not informative enough. And it's not enough on an ongoing effort enough so that people are not familiar with all these things. Cannot blame people. They're busy. They want to enjoy their life. So if uh, the government uh, that they elected don't inform them and don't find a good solution for them, then they think uh, it's not their job to do it. And they rely on the government to inform them everything that is good for them. They rely on the newspaper to give them all the news that is necessary and important to their life. That's why they read newspaper. That's why they spend money to buy it or to pay for television channels. 
For an average person, how do they get all the information that the media have is more available or the government has more access to? It's not people's job even to inform themselves, just some people who do it, but they normally, they read newspaper and whatever printed in there, they believe it. So if it's not printed in there, <laughs> they don't know or they don't believe it. That's the power of media and the government. I hope they use it for the best course right now, on the noble course right now. I hope they do use it. Thank you, Master. Good to fuck. Hello, Master. Hello. As I know, uh, many people in Germany uh, have stopped uh, meat eating. I mean, they don't eat uh, beef, pork, etc. Um, but they still eat fish. Oh. My question is, if more and more people uh, give up meat eating, but keep on eating fish oh. only um, one or two times a week, um, with this, how much can it uh, help to save our planet? And uh, could you also tell us how we can more effectively uh, advise people to stop fish eating? Thank you. It's already very good that they stop eating red meat and uh, big animals' meat. It's already very good. You tell them that, bravo, bravo, thank you very much. You are very brave, and I thank you and the planet. Thank you, and many animals, thank you. And after that, you give them uh, a flyer. You gather all the information about the harm of fish eating, and you give it to them. You say, now, if you go one step further and no more in fish eating, then you'll be perfect. You'll be my hero. Oh, okay, good. Because fish eating also very depleting to planetary ecosystem. They have proven that the overfishing of sardines has resulted in many dead zones because uh, they are there for some reason. They are there for maybe oxidize in the ocean, give life to some other kind of species or cleaning the environment. Whatever the species that God has left on the planet, they have a work to do. The species have work to do. Just like human, we have work to do. Animals, they have work to do. Even little fish like sardine, they have work to do. It's just many humans are ignorant. They think it's just a little fish. They're helpless anyway. They're useless. No, they're not useless. So they think they're useless, so they fish them up and eat them. But they are very, very useful to our ecosystem and to the health of the planet and consequently to the health of humans and all beings on it. So you gather all these facts from Supreme Master Television or any internet or information you can find in the library or anywhere, and then you print it all on a flyer and you give it to the fish eater. Okay, right. okay, we will do that. Thank you. Yeah. Of course they do not know. Maybe they don't know. Not everybody knows about everything. My God, how can they know everything? Some people know this, some people know that. So if they don't know something and you know it, you give them the information. Meisterin, in Gesprächen erfahre ich immer wieder, dass das Thema der globalen Erwärmung den meisten Menschen vertraut ist. Jeder kann dazu etwas sagen. Yeah. Auf der anderen Seite fehlen oft Wissen über die Ursachen und die Zusammenhänge. Mm. Frage, sind es tatsächlich nur fehlende Informationen bei den Betreffenden oder spielen da noch andere Dinge eine Rolle? It's many things. Lack of information is one of it. Other thing is people habits is hard to wipe out. Other thing is that they do not know anything about the bad retribution of uh, animals killing. They do not know the benefit of saving lives and being compassionate to other beings other than just humans. That is a problem. Uh, they do not know even that meat-eating or animals' uh, diet has anything to do with uh, global warming. So that's why we are here. That's why we do as much as we can to spread the news. That's why we have Supreme Master Television every day informing people. And even if they don't look at it, The information is in the air. It will spread to all corners of the world. How much people can receive, it depends on how we can overwhelm the negative waves of destructive media, if you will, 
and destructive uh, energy of the world. But we'll try our best. It's better than nothing. Okay? <laughs> Thank you. A master climate change and global warming seem to have not reached the stage of global warning, let alone SOS, because I find it missing in daily conversations on TV, news and conferences. In case of a war, everybody is listening to the war reporting. Why not on global warming reporting? Yeah, because it's uh, more sensational to show a dead body of somebody with a bullet ridden out of his corpse, then just to say something that they think might or might not happen. Even all the scientists has already proven it, already informed many of the governments, they still don't want to admit it. I know this problem very well. I know this problem very well when I encounter people outside on the street or anywhere I go. That's why I keep saying the government and the media must help, must help to report the constructive news of the world for the people to be educated, to be informed, because it's their right to know also, their right to know. They buy the newspapers, they pay tax, they elected the governments in the trust that the government do the best for them or lead them into the best situation. That's why they call leaders, leaders. I mean, you have to do what the best for the whole pack. Like in animals' kingdom, the leader of the animals' pack always do everything that's the best for the one that's under his responsibility. And the people trust the media. They really trust the media. That's why they buy newspaper every day to read. That's why they watch television every day to see what's going on. But I don't think everybody loves to just see all the war and the dead body all the time. It is too much emphasized on the negative side of life. We have also positive side of life. We have laughter, we have hope, we have happiness, we have love between men and women, we have love between family members, you know? We have heroic acts of noble beings, and we have animals who are so brave, so heroic, so noble, etc., etc. We have all beings who are so good and fantastic in this world. We should report them all, not just a little corner war here and there. Because, for example, even in the war today, maybe five people die, or some explosion somewhere and another, maybe. 50 people die. That is a corner of that nation compared to maybe 500 million of people who live there. Five compared to five millions or 50 millions or 500 millions. But when it's gloom on the screen, it's larger than life. And that's all we remember after we watch the news. That's all we remember in our sleep, in our dream. We have nightmare, we have indigestion, we aggravate our sickness because of all this negative news. Scientists has been proven that even if you watch a very gruesome TV, negative TV, it will aggravate whatever sickness you have at present time or make you sick even if you are not sick, psychologically, physically, emotionally, mentally. Yes. So media should do their noble job informing people what is good for them. Even if they want to keep a little news of the war, that may be necessary also to let people know, but not to blow it out of proportion and not daily about war all the time. This is not good for the health of the people and make people feel depressed and less hope for the future and less positive in their thinking and energy. It's not good for their positive energy. So. Now we have the Supreme Master Television. If you can, you leave your TV on all day or night. So just to reinforce more power of the positive energy or the constructive Thank one. You. You're welcome. And who knows, in the future, maybe there will be more of the Supreme Master Television everywhere. I mean, the like of it. 
Right now, I've seen the tendency of more and more positive news, and I've seen many new channels emerged similar to the direction that we're going. You watch all the TV channels, you serve them, and then you will see what I mean. The new channels who are coming are going more in a positive direction. Master, could you please tell us again about the importance of saving this planet, the planet that God considers worth saving? You think it's not worth saving? You tell me. Yes, I think so. It's worth saving. And then why you ask me? <laughs> why does God think it's worth saving, right? Yes. If you think the planet is worth saving, then God thinks also, what do you think? Because God just wants to please His children. That's why I told you, be careful what you think. Be careful what you want, because what you want, God will give. What you think, it will come true. <laughs> In God's eyes, His children are always innocent and pure and worthy any time, from A to Z, no matter what they do. As I told you already, my viewpoint even, that human beings are only victims of the uh, black magic power of the negative king, Maya illusion, the king of illusion. He casts the webs of ignorance on everybody and make them drunk, make them blurred of vision. They cannot think, they cannot see very clearly. That's why Master has to come. Jesus come, Buddha come, Muhammad come, Guru Nana come, Jain Master come, Hindu Master come, etc., etc., and keep coming. We don't give up on humankind because the Human are innocent, and they should be given always a chance, even the last chance, for a quick evolution to catch up with other planets as well. Souls are poor and innocent always, no matter what they do outside. It's all the mind, all the deceptive Maya appearance. The souls are always perfect, pure and childlike, and always loved by God and the whole heaven. This world makes them so drunk that they identify themselves with all the material things that they see and the body that they inhabit. So also they've been influenced under the Maya influence to take up bad habits. And then it's hard for them to cast it aside once it's rooted into their life for over the years. It's all the work of the Maya. Because the king of Maya means illusional king. He wants to trap the souls here so that he control. If we are gone, then we are in heaven. He has nothing to do here. He'll be bored stiff. He will feel useless. That's why he wants to keep them in physical bondage forever, life after life. That's why God's heaven takes pity on humankind. That's why this world should be saved, so people have a chance to awaken, to catch up to return to their original, pristine, beautiful, glorious, great self. Thank you, Master. Only that the human being wake up, hit the warning, and save themselves, save their souls. Save the planet means save their souls, because if they listen and become vegetarian with the intention to save the beings on the planet, then they are noble enough to be saved. Yes, yes. To be included in, in the same circle. That's the idea. It's not saving the planet. It's their attitude to save the planet. And why they want to save the planet. That's what counts. Capish? Yes, Capish. Wonderful. Thank you, Master. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your wisdom. The question is that I would like to know where we're standing now with, with our work for the world. Continue doing it, and then you see. Okay. You continue, and uh, I'm still proud of you guys. You do what you can and your capacity, so it's okay. And whatever you do, reflect your levels. Whatever you ask, reflects also your level. Okay. Hello, Master. Hello. 
according to the global warming, we need to change to the vegetarian uh, diet. Uh, everywhere I go, I try to uh, to talk with my friends so that they change to a vegetarian diet. Even uh, talk with my parents who are a religious uh, leader to talk to the people in the church so that the people should change to the vegetarian diet. And they all uh, told me they believe on Jesus, so they all say that Jesus eats meat, fish. He doesn't eat fish at all. It's actually it was a bunch of grapes that he shared it with the other people. It's a bunch of grapes. He doesn't eat fish at all. Okay. Yeah. Because the first commandment is "Thou shalt not kill." And in the Bible, there are ample, ample evidence that God say or Jesus say that don't eat meat, don't drink wine, don't be even with the meat eaters and wine drinker. You get all that printed all on the flyers or get it all from Supreme Master Television. Print it all out. Yeah. So easy. It's all in the Bible. Don't kill any bullock or she sheep to offer to me because your hand be full of blood. I will not forgive your sin. When you pray, I will turn my head away. All that is so clear already. You please print all that out in the Bible. Print all the things that God forbid eating meat and drinking wine and any intoxicant and all that. Do not eat anything that make your brother uh, weak, stumble or fail or hurt in any way. Thou shalt not kill. I made all the herbs that's pleasing to your eyes, all the fruit that delicious to your taste, that shall be your food. First chapter in the Bible. God demand everyone eat vegetarian and fruit. He never said, I made all the dogs and sheep, all that for you to eat. Never in the Bible. You never see that. He didn't even say, I make fish for you to eat. He said, I make the animals to be your friends and helpers. Accompany you. My God, what a noble job the animals have. And all we do is kill our companion and friends and helper and eat them. And then I blame it on Jesus. Poor Jesus, he's dead, he cannot say anything. But if you read the original uh, scriptures, it say a bunch of grapes. If he want to eat fish, he would tell uh, the twelve disciples, continue fishing and give him fish every day. He said, forsake the fish, come on, I teach you to fish men. If Jesus tell his fishing disciple to stop fishing, that means he don't want fish. If he stop his disciple fishing, then how would he have fish to eat? Okay, print all the meat forbidden diet and in the Bible and give it to people. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. À, con rất mong là thế giới mình chuyển qua thật nhanh qua cái giai đoạn này để okay. uh, tất cả chúng sinh được hưởng trong an bình. Ok. Cái sống trong thời đại hoàng kim, con rất mong muốn như vậy. Ai cũng muốn như vậy hết á. Được hay không tùy theo mọi người. Ok. Yeah. Now, I wish you all the best. Continue what you're doing. All the best to you and your country. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. You are welcome, Mark Weiter and Alice Wooten. Cheers. Cheers. This beta. Thank you.